Mayor Adams saying he wants to keep the city on a, quote, stable path financially, but part of his proposed cuts facing significant backlash. We're talking about his proposal to slash funding from the city's public library system. Fox Eyes' Chris Welch shows us why it's getting so much heat. And we provide a very important service at every single neighborhood in Queens. As the chief librarian who oversees the services at 66 locations of the Queens Public Library, Nick Buron is concerned about Mayor Eric Adams' proposed budget cuts to the city's libraries. Cuts that could reduce any number of library services, from English as a second language classes to the simple act of checking out a book. We have six day service everywhere. So if a location has a five-day service, that's very noticeable. Adams slashed the library budget by $13 million for the remainder of the current fiscal year, and he's proposed a $20 million cut for fiscal year 2024. It's upsetting. It's a fight John Hislop, the president of the union representing staff at libraries in Queens, is starting to get tired of having. Eric Adams is far from the first mayor to propose reduced library funding. We will fight. We will fight to stop these budget cuts. Fighting alongside them, as it has in the past, New York's city council. Speaker Adrian Adams says the mayor's budget is, quote, one the city council cannot support. At a city council oversight hearing last month, president of the New York Public Library, Tony Marks, put it this way. But at some point, you get to the bone. Um, and, you know, we keep getting closer and closer to that bone, and this may push us over the edge. I'm a big believer in libraries. Yesterday, the mayor defended his proposed cuts. Now, we have to send a strong message that uh, we must find uh, more efficient ways of running our city. In short, prepare for a fight over the coming several months. Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.